Hey guys, this is Heretic and it is January 17th, 2021. And in this video, I'm gonna go over troops and heroes in the Solar Kingdoms, um, how to use them, when to use them, what to focus on. I'm gonna go ahead and start with troops. Um, before we get started, um, an important thing to kind of understand in King of Avalon is that your troops fight in waves. So you're sending, let's say 200,000 troops out um, imagine dividing up those 200,000 into a hundred different waves of troops. They don't all attack at once. And due to this, anything with a percent chance is a chance per wave of the, of the attack. If you have a 5% chance, that means 5% of the waves will get that percent chance bonus. Just keep this in mind as you review troops and heroes because some of them do have that. All right, so let's start with the infantry. So infantry are your meat shields. Um, they're at the very front of, the, of any of those waves of attacks. They live to keep your cavalry and your bowmen alive. That's their main job is just to keep everybody alive. They have a little bit of attack and you can see those here if you click the eye on the for troop details. Um, they have a little bit of attack, um, and, but they have a lot of health and a ton of defense. Um, as, as far as uh, troop tiers, um, each troop tier has a bonus. For infantry, it's super simple. Um, even tiered infantry have a bonus in defense versus bowmen and the odd tiers have a bonus in defense versus cavalry and you can see that here just go through each it says it right up here warriors have an increased defense against archers you go down to nine light cavalry eight archers seven cavalry super simple all right so let's go over next would be your cavalry okay cavalry um, are a mix between uh, your attack and your defense. They have a little bit of both. Um, their tier bonuses, and, and I'm not going to go over each of these, um, but if you look at it, um, tier 11 is an increased attack versus warriors, um, 10. Um, they have a chance, this is where those chance um, percentages come in, they have a chance to attack the enemy bowmen directly. So, you know, the infantry are at the front of the attack. Cavalry comes right behind them. And then behind them is the bowmen. Um, a tier 10 um, cavalry have a chance to bypass the infantry and the cavalry and hit those bowmen directly. Tier 9, um, same thing. They can attack bowmen directly. Tier 8, um, increase attack against warriors. Um, so it's not even odd for um, cavalry. You'll just have to kind of look through. So bowmen. Bowmen are your glass cannons. They sit at the very back, um, just raining down death uh, on your opponents. Their main job is just to, you know, to shoot. <laughs> That's it. They're not going to defend at all. Um, they'll sit at the back and and they'll do their job uh, until they're hit and then they're done they're done they're not really gonna have, stay alive for very long on their own um, their bonuses are tier 11 um, they have an increased attack against spearmen spearmen just say warriors just say um, infantry tier 10 um, a bonus attack against cavalry nine if i can click it nine um increased attack against uh infantry eight cavalry seven cavalry so it's not even odd for them either it's going to skip a little bit as you go through if you want to get really detailed on each of the troop types you can click on the little informational here um, 
as you go through you can see you know like for Bowman it'll just continuously go up as you go to each of these tiers right so you can see the difference so you know if if you're planning an attack well you'll want um, you know your your tier eleven bowmen because they're gonna knock out the the infantry. You'll still want a, a little bit of each of the tiers as you go through. Whenever I build a formation, I usually start at my highest, and I'll tier it down. Um, and and that's not including crit. And this is for solar. Um, I don't think there's very many people right now that are ready for a crit march. Um, so. When it, for a non-crit march is basically, think of it as an inverted pyramid. So your tier one will have just a couple of troops, while your highest tier will have the most. And then, you know, step it down. So if you have tier 11, you'll have that as your most amount of troops for a particular type. Your tier 11 will have a little bit less, uh, tier 10 will have a little bit less, tier nine a little bit less, and so on down. Um, the same good that's for PvP and for um, PvE. For PvE, when you're building a formation, you're looking at troops. I um, for for this point in solar, if you're not considering a crit march, which is anything below thirty percent crit, um, you need to go with a mix march. I would go to Revenge Game, and they have a really good uh, PvP. E, um, calculator PVE is your portal your guardian um, elder guardian attacks uh, the dragon uh, your any event um, type attack like golem okay um, to see your crit and to see how to raise your crit to get to that 30% which I haven't started on crit yet you can go to your university Go to research, go down to the very bottom, War Fury. So you get, um, I believe it's 10 for each of these. So you can get up to 10% for each one of these groupings. So 10, 20, you would need to get to here and completely train all of your um, Undying Oath up to 30% before I would even contemplate using a crit march. Okay, enough of that. Let's go to heroes. So right now, um, if you're on a brand new solar kingdom, do not put even one little bit of effort into the Red Knight or Igraine the Peerless. They get replaced at the very first, you know, within two weeks um, by Goloris and Boars. So in, on the solar side, um, we've gotten rid of the um, Netherfall series um, heroes, designations. Um, every hero has a match. Um, so you'll see this little icon at the top. Right, you still have your covenants. You can find your covenants by going to your hero council. Click the covenant, and this is super important that you have all of these activated. You can get all of them. You only need two of each uh, type. Okay, it's for actual PvP battle. Right now, the top. Here, let me go over to the heroes. Uh, right now, the top is your Gorloris and your Borge the Elder together. Um, and the reason is, if you look at them, their unique skills are Goloris will give a troop attack um, of, 50, of up to 100. Um, when you run them together, um, you'll get base damage of up to 30%. That's huge, huge. Right? And then if you look at uh, Boris the Elder, his unique um, addition here is um, up to 100% troop attack. So tons of troop attack. Well, um, if you don't, if you don't have them yet, if you just started, 
then the top and the, like the secondary pairing is Uther with Sir Gawain. If you click in, you can see there's is a up to um, a 20% 20, 20 chance to dealing damage for your infantry to deal damage um, worth their base defense times 61. Um, up to 120%, which is great. Um, and then the Counter-Strike um, chance actually goes up when you're running him with Sir Gawain. And Sir Gawain um, on Solar, completely different guy. Can't get over that. Um, infantry defense goes up quite a bit. And that's why you'll want to run these pairs together, really. This is the main reason. Um, and the health will go up uh, almost to uh, well uh, to 50% fully, fully done. Um, Right now, these I have the best ones that you can possibly get in. Um, I don't have them fully maxed out or anything because I'm not crazy, but um, in a perfect world, I would. We don't have, you know, some of the other later um, Netherfall series champions. Um, you also have PVE um, heroes. And you actually have some that are built, I mean, and these are great for PvE, amazing. Troop attack at 300%, <laughs> up to 300% for PvE. And this is, for people, when I say PvE here, this is um, barbarian camps. This is not Gollum or anything like that. Um, some of your other heroes have uh, interesting effects. Um, you know, look through, don't assume, um, you know, don't think of them as your the heroes that you have um, in Lunar, on uh, Lunar Kingdoms. They're completely different here. But for PvP, again, right now, the best ones that you can you can have, that you can have appointed and, and that you can include in your march are going to be Galoris and Bors the Elder. Um, because of that troop attack, because troop attack is one of the most important stats in the game, um, followed um, by troop defense, and then followed by infantry defense, then your your bow attack and your cal. That's that's kind of the uh, the order that I would put them in as of, of importance there. Um, you know, health is important as well, obviously, but. Um, I would say that this is the, the best attack that you can do right now is to have your Glorus and your Boars together um, on your march. I can show you what my march looks like now. It's not perfect. Um, in general, I want to keep about 45% or so um, infantry, um, you know, 35% or so um, bow, and then the rest in calf. That's how I run, um, and that's how I do it on Lunar as well. Um, if you do have any questions, let me know in comments. Um, I, I plan on posting a lot more content um, around Solar. I've put a lot of, a lot of effort into this kingdom um, and, you know, kind of building up um, so that I'm able to share um, strategy, share ideas here with, with all of you. Um, so let your friends know about the channel. Um, leave me comments and feedback. Um, you know, be sure to subscribe to see more content like this. Um, like and, um, you know, hit the like button as much as you can, as many times as you can. <laughs> as long as it ends up as applied. So that's all for now, and I'll talk to you again soon. Goodbye.